Hey, what's up guys? NGH here and welcome back to another huge episode of my Valencia career mode. The first game is against Real Sociedad away from home. They are seventh in the table, so not the biggest game ever, but obviously I would like to win that and give me even more of a chance of coming top of the league come the end of the season. But of course, the main event of this episode is the second leg of the semi-finals against Chelsea in the Champions League. If we can win this game after a 0-0 draw at home, we're going through to the final of the Champions League, which would be absolutely incredible. But first of all, let's focus on this league match against Sociedad and try and get the three points away from home. So here we go, guys. I'm playing my second team, basically. We've gone with the 4-2-3-1 formation. It seems to be the best formation that works with my second team. So let's take a look at the lineups after we check the table out. You can see they're on 50 points. We're on 74. We're top on head-to-head -head results above Real Madrid and Sevilla. So uh, it's going to be very tight towards the end of the season. Now let's check the lineup for Real Sociedad. Let's see what David Moyes has done. So... Technically, it's not David Moyes in my career mode because this is the second season. But either way, it's the exact team I was expecting, to be honest. Veya on the right side, the ex-Arsenal man, will be the most dangerous. And uh, Castro on the left as well. Two very good wingers on their side. Let's take a look at my lineup now. And uh, I'll be able to show you who I've got playing. So basically, like I said, it is my exact second team. Piatti comes in on the left side. Zicciolini will be playing a little bit more forward in this game. Katabia keeps his place as well. And uh, Arujo up front on his own. Over the top. Oh, what a start this could be. Finish that, son. Oh, it's a great start. Four minutes in, guys, and we're already 1-0 up. Some terrible defending from Real Sociedad. Here is Carlos Vela. I have mentioned already he's going to be the main man for Sociedad. Here's their striker. I don't want to pronounce his name. Canales. He's a good player. Oh, shit. He's turned me. Oh, that was lucky. What a terrible shot that was. Oh, a bit of space here, I think. Here's Arujo again. Oh, Zuccellini's free. Smash it, son. Oh, my God. Again. The keeper. What is he doing? He's having the worst game of his career at the moment. There you go, guys. 2-0 in the first half. Here comes Sociedad once again. They've started off this second half pretty strongly. 60 minutes in already. Get that one out. Oh, my God. Again. It's another huge chance for them to score. And they've missed it. No wonder they're in seventh if they're getting these kind of chances and not putting them away. Here's Feguli with his fresh legs. That's a great ball over to Piatti. Look at him getting pulled back. That's so dodgy, that is. Whip the ball in. He's offside, I think. Yeah, he's offside. Okay, that's all right. We're still creating chances, and it's still 2-0. It's a good sign. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Luckily, it's not Martinez or Paco, but Arujo is now injured. And there we have it. It's a very solid win, guys. 2-0. The first half maybe shouldn't have been 2-0 up for me, but... The second half was much better. I controlled the game. And I think in the end, on balance, I think I deserved the three points. So there we go, guys. We do stay top of the league. Well, it turns out it was only a bruised elbow for Arujo. So he's out for eight days. He's not obviously going to feature against Chelsea anyway. I've got two much better strikers ahead of him at the moment. Um, but he will feature in uh, maybe a couple more league games towards the end of the season. Here we are, guys. Stamford Bridge for the second leg against Chelsea. This is the biggest game so far of this series. So the first leg ended 0-0. They didn't manage to get an away goal, which is huge. So can I pick up an away goal? Bloody hope so. Let's have a look at the lineups. Here it is. I'm sure they're going for their 4-2-3-1 formation that they always use. There it is. Thorgan Hazard and his brother Eden, Eden Hazard on the left. William on the right. Matic Ramirez in the middle with Martinez Boateng as the centre-backs. It's going to be a really tough defence to break down. You already saw that in the last leg. And here is my lineup. It's my strongest team possible, pretty much, with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation that I've been relying on lately. It's a good enough team to do well against Chelsea. I'm going to go ahead and say that. And my prediction is, I think it's going to go to extra time. That's just my prediction. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go on defensive to start off with. And then I'm going to go on counter-attack football. That's exactly what Chelsea will be doing, I'm sure. They'll be absorbing the pressure. Or actually, no, probably not. They're, they're at home, so maybe they'll be going for more attacking football. But it will definitely be on the counter-attack where they're going to harm me most. So I'm going to kind of use their own tactics against them. I think if I am going to score in this game, it's going to have to be on the counter. Hang on, here goes Paco. Just get a cross in, son. Oh, hang on. Martinez. No, that's not going to work out. Shit, this isn't what I wanted. Here they come. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. If they score, it's going to be big trouble. I know scoring is going to be difficult, so 
I need to keep a clean sheet in this game if I want to win, quite clearly. Here's Ivanovic down to Ramirez. Pacey buggies kept that one in. No. Oh my god, he's missed it. Holy shit. How? How has he missed that? Looks like Chelsea have swapped wings. We've got Hazard out on the right now and Williams on the left. Here's Ramirez once again. He is everywhere on the pitch. He's just such a good player in FIFA. But well mopped up. Oh shit, I didn't mean to run forward with Mustafi. That's dodgy. I'm going to have to wait till he comes back. There's no way I'm attacking with Mustafi up there. Leaving gaps behind and playing it safe. This is what you call a counter attack. Come on, over the top for Martinez. Please chest that down. Oh man, Boateng and Martinez, they're just literally like brick walls. I cannot get through them. Last chance before half time maybe. Parejo on the ball here. No, that's going to be it. The referee's blown his whistle and that's the end of the first half. Pretty uneventful so far. Come on, Gaia. You know you want to pick out a brilliant ball. That is a brilliant ball. Is he offside? I think he is. He's just offside, but it didn't matter anyway. Check pulled off an amazing save. Come on, you Spanish magician. Little bit of space here for Feguli. I might have a shot here. Please. Oh, it's been blocked. That's okay. This is my first corner of the game. This is huge, guys. I might have a chance to score a headed goal and then just defend. But, oh, look at that. Fabregas has just come on. They're going to be going for it. Why didn't he start? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, my God. Come on. Please, Gaia. Oh, my God. It's still going. What is going on right now? Feguli's got it. I'll take the free kick. No, nope, I can't. It's gone. Over the top. Oh, no. So I've made a couple of changes, guys. I've gone back to a different formation that's a bit more flat in midfield. I've brought Piatti on, on the left. Silva comes inside there with Perez as the CDM. Parejo and Feguli across the, the right side there. Is this the team that will send me through to the final? God, I really hope so. Chelsea have upped the tempo. Look at this. I'm just stuck in my own box, pretty much. And I cannot get it out. That's offside. There we go. That'll give me a bit of a break. But look at that. Boateng is all the way up front. So that tells me they are on ultra attack. So maybe I should go on attacking now. We're still on the counter-attacking uh, tactic. Maybe I will be able to sneak a goal. Look at Boateng stepping up. Look at that. Look at that. What are they thinking? Come on, Martinez, please. No! Feguli on this right side. Chelsea are stuck up the pitch. Oh, hang on. Oh, please. Please, this time you got this. Oh, shit. They're defenders. Look at the space I've got. Oh, if I can do this. Piatti, you are the dream maker. Oh, my God. I've ruined it. I've absolutely ruined it. And there it is. Into extra time, and I've still got two changes available. That is why I only made one substitution. Chelsea, I believe, have made all three. So, I've got the advantage going into extra time, lads. I'm going to go for it. I'm bringing on Romeo. For my centre defensive midfielder. And Silva is coming off. So Perez is going to go forward a little bit more. The reason I've kept Perez is because he's an all-rounder. Whereas Silva, he's definitely more of an attacker. Creative player. Doesn't do much going back. So that's going to be my first change. Should I change anything else? Maybe Zuccellini on for Parejo? Yes. Yes, I'm going to do that now. Oh, what a header from Romeo. Look at that. That is why I brought him on. Come on, Martinez. Triple tap. Look at his pace. Oh, please, Feguli. Please get this. No. Yes. Please. Please. No. No, it's hit the post. You've got to be kidding me. I cannot believe this. You lucky bastards. That was the moment. Oh, shit. Okay, corner. Focus. Come on, win the header. Let's come out here. Come on, Gaia. Hit it. Oh, check. What a save, son. That was absolutely mental. And that is the end of the first half of extra time. Let's get into the second half now. Here goes Feguli. We've seen him do this already this season. Look at him go. Go, Piatti. Come on. Piatti, hit it. Oh, my God. Again blocked. Ivanovic this time. I really don't want to go to penalties now. Oh, what a tackle that is. If I can score here, I won't have to go to penalties. And we're going through. Look at Martinez. Oh no, it's too heavy. Check. why couldn't you make a mistake for once in your life? God damn it, we're going to penalties. Shit, I'm actually like, I'm sweating. I do not want to lose this game. This is like the biggest moment of the series so far. Oh god, here we go. The first penalty is for Hazard, of course. I'm going bottom left. Please go bottom left. You 
Oh, you bastard. Right, okay, that's okay. They're going to score their first one most times. Let's go. Let's get a one ourselves. It's not bad for Perez. Come on, bottom right corner. Yes, baby. Get in there. Check didn't even move. And now it's Fabregas. Come on, then. Top right. Top right corner. He's gone top left. God damn it. I hate you. <laughs> Zuccellini. Bottom left corner. Please don't fuck this one up. Yes. He hasn't moved again. Petr Cech, you've got to start moving, you lazy bastard. Right. Now it's Cavani. He's going down the middle. Come on. Save this. What the fuck? How? How? Oh, my God. Right. Martinez. Please. You've been brilliant this game. Yes. He, oh, my God. Again, he stayed down the middle. Petr Cech has not moved. Clearly, he's very lazy right now. It's Diego Costa. Bottom left corner. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, this is crazy. Every single penalty so far has gone in. It's time for Feguli now. It's not bad. Top left corner. Yes, and again, Petr Cech has stayed still. Is that his tactic? Just to, just to stand still and not move? There's no way I'm going down the middle now. Bottom left. Oh, bollocks. I almost got a hand to it. But like I just said, there's no way I'm going down the middle. Oh, shit. My vibrator is shaking and I'm freaking... I'm tense right now. That is the perfect penalty. Come on. Yes, and again, he stayed still. That is... That's surely a glitch. What the hell? So now it's sudden death, guys. Van Ginkel, he's going to miss it. He's going to miss it. Oh, he's hit the bar and it's gone in. It's the best penalty so far. Oh, shit. Here we go, Piatti. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes. Check finally moved, but it's the wrong way. Ivanovic, the pressure is on you. Please, please, fuck this one up. I'm going down the middle. Yes, he's missed it. Yes, come on. Come on, Romeo. You came on. You changed the game for me. This is to win it, to go to the final. Come on. Yes, get in there. We're into the final of the Champions League. And my players aren't even excited. What the fuck is that? Are you serious, EA? <laughs> my players don't give a shit. They've just made it into the Champions League final. I'm here leaping around my room. Oh, we've done it. We're into the final, guys. What a result. And there it is, guys. The final against Bayern on the 28th of May. In the next episode, we're going to do the three matches in the league, including a big one against Barcelona. But I tell you what, I don't even remotely care about the league right now. I'm so excited to get to the final and actually have a chance of winning it. After all the pain I've had with Arsenal, we're actually there. So Bayern Munich are the last team I have to play in the in the Champions League to win that freaking trophy. So thank you so much for watching. I need to get a drink. My throat is dead now, but that was pretty intense. Holy shit. 7-6 on penalties. Or was it 8-7? I think it was 8-7 on penalties. It, it's just mental. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Whew.